had seen the collegium system can under criticism over the last few days as well with the recent appointments too but uh, since it was struck down by the supreme court it seems the collegium system is the one that will be continuing but it is indeed significant that the law minister has spoken up about the njac which was uh, given a big push during the modi government during this tenure but since it was struck down by the supreme court which which felt uh, that it would be caught up in a cycle of reciprocity city and that it would be indebted to those who are appointing uh, them uh, the supreme court uh, struck down this proposal uh, four judges out of that five judge panel had in fact uh, struck down the proposal for the njac so the collegium system is the one that continues with the law minister kiran rijiju there again raising some concerns about the system number one that it is very opaque and this is something that has been uh, vocalized by many who feel uh, that uh, the whole system of uh, appointment of of nomination is very opaque and uh, that it isn't any uh, there isn't any transparency to steps and to the working of how uh, the cji is selected or how the judiciary appointments are made and also secondly he said that the sitting judges may be wasting a lot of time in deliberating over these appointments now arunima who brought us though that exclusive interview is joining us very good morning to arunima uh, it very, very very significant that the law minister has made a push once again for the njac but is he merely expressing his opinion or do you expect there will be next steps on board uh, yes the law minister did not elaborate as, as to what alternative mechanism he has in mind because the ngac uh, which is the national judicial appointment commission act uh, which was passed unanimously by the parliament that has been struck down by the supreme court he feels that the mechanism that was uh, entailed in ngac was the best mechanism for judicial appointment but since the supreme court in its wisdom has struck that down they can they go back to that can they convince the supreme court or find a mechanism uh, to get around uh, the the striking down uh, of uh, this act uh, by the supreme court which had called it unconstitutional he did indicate that those consultations uh, were on um, formally informally judges were being spoken to perhaps uh, the new chief justice of india uh, justice chandrachur will also be consulted so we don't know what alternative mechanism he has in mind but he is very clear that the collegium system of judges appointing judges is not the correct way to go ahead he also said that nowhere else in the world is this kind of system followed and his argument uh, for rejecting the collegium system is uh, that there is already a huge pendency as far as uh, judicial settlement of cases are concerned and if senior most judges of the supreme court are going to quote on court waste their time deliberating on these matters of appointment um that that is taking away from their time of justice delivery Arunima, apart from the law minister who else are the vocal uh, proponents of the njac so when the njac act was brought in parliament it was brought uh, in 2013 14 passed by both lok sabha and rajya sabha all political parties were actually on board across cutting across the political spectrum all political parties were on board uh, to get the njac act passed by parliament that that's what kiran rijiju also said that it was unanimous so if the law minister is saying this today the opposition you know then uh, they they could they could they supported this and that's what he's pointing out after uh, so it seems that uh, the executive and the political class wants this power in their hand what is the comparison between the collegium system and the ngac system uh, in the collegium system right now it is the chief justice of india and the four most senior judges of the supreme court who sit together and then they recommend the name of a candidate to the executive to the government that this person should be appointed as a judge the government has the option of expressing its reservation and uh, letting the collegium know that we have a reservation about this person but if the collegium recommends the same name a second time then the government does not have the power in the current system to overrule the collegium that is where the problem lies because the government wants that power they want that say which was given to them in njac uh, so looks like it's a clash between the political class and uh, the judiciary the judges both sides saying that we are best suited to decide who should appoint the judges but currently we don't know if the collegium system uh, will be done away with because the supreme court in three cases in three different constitutional matters has shaped this system and like i said they've struck down njac as well 
Well, Arnu, when they struck down the NJAC, they expressed concerns that there would be feelings of reciprocity and indebtedness to the political executive, which would be disastrous to the judiciary. This is what they said, and I'm quoting them. Are there any chances that they would change this very firm line that they've taken in the past? And that's exactly the bone of contention, that if you're, you owe your appointment uh, to a person, then how will you be independent? Um, the Constitution of India has made uh, the segregation very clear between the executive, the legislature, the judiciary and the fourth estate, which is the press. Uh, if the judicial appointments are brought about by the executive, how will you then ensure that judges remain independent, that they give decisions you, you know, as per law and not because uh, the government is the main pleader in the case because government has appointed them. That's the bone of contention which brought in the collegial system. If you recall, um, during the Indra Gandhi era, there was a lot of controversy about the way judges were appointed. Some judges were superseded who were in line to become Chief Justice of India. So because of that controversy, in these three separate cases, which have gone on to be called as three cases in Supreme Court, the collegial system was brought about. But now uh, the argument being given by Kiran Rijiju is uh, that, you know, this system of judges appointing judges is not followed anywhere in the world. Uh, we feel the NJC system is the best because, uh, and he says, this is what his argument is, that not just the executive, he says former judges, advocates, as well as members of civil society have come to him expressing concern about the way mm -hmm. uh, judicial appointments mm -hmm. are made. Uh, he says this is time taking because there's also a process of consultation with the high court judges. If somebody from their high court is getting recommended as Supreme mm -hmm. Court judge, they have to be consulted as well. It's time consuming. All right.